they had so many reasons to rejoice because the truth is, is that they, because they were close to God and that because that was easy for them because of their low condition, that they were actually exalted in the heavens. And that's what really matters. Romans 8, 17, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ, provided we suffer with him in order that we may also be glorified with him. These people hung on these hopes every single day of their life because they didn't have anything else in this world to hang on to. You see, we do. And that's why sometimes we completely miss the point on what's important. Because we do have because we do move about with freedom, because we make our own decisions and we live our lives the way we want. We fail to see sometimes just how pathetic all the things of the world really are. Because right now, they are keeping us to a certain degree satisfied. And to be honest, at certain points, our relationship with God is stifled. Now, I say satisfied, but the truth is most of us aren't even satisfied with the immense amount of stuff we have. We're not even satisfied with the freedom that we have. I'll be honest. I mean, I I think sometimes we just don't get it. Again, my job's not for you to like me. It's for me to tell you the truth. I mean, there's a reason why you call a prayer meeting in some places of the world that are lowly and There's not a building big enough to hold the response. And you call a prayer meeting in America, three people are there. There's a reason for that. Because these people understand the desperation that they can't get through a single day without bowing their knee. And see, we don't have to do that because there's a level of our material things that are sustaining and satisfying us. There is a level of dependence upon this world that keeps our relationship and our dependence upon God at bay. In fact, to prove this, a couple years ago, we had this little huge worldwide event, virus thing that happened. I don't know if you guys remember that or not. I'm not making some sort of political statement. I'm not saying that. But I, I saw more people fighting for their personal liberties and freedoms than I'd ever seen them fight for the truth of the gospel. Now, I get it. Nobody wants their freedom taken away. We certainly aren't lining up to give it away. Anybody wants to take freedom away, they're going to have a fight on their hands. But that doesn't mean we have a right to worship those freedoms and turn to them for our comfort and cling to them rather than to the cross. And I saw a lot of people get very passionate about their freedoms, and I have not seen that passion about the gospel. 